you're seeing SharePoint 2013 for the first time, uh, whether you're new to SharePoint or whether you have seen uh, previous versions, uh, you'll definitely need to get used to the interface first. So this video is just an introduction to the SharePoint interface, get you used to the screens, uh, and then when we go to more advanced subjects, uh, you'll be able to follow along. So the SharePoint interface, um, first of all, you'll see the uh, along the top, you have this blue section, this blue bar here, uh, this bar, uh, as well as the section below, this follows you everywhere you go. Uh, it shows you here I'm on an Office 365 product, uh, as opposed to using a standalone version of SharePoint, which you could do as well. Uh, and because of that, because I'm using Office 365, uh, I have these additional links here, Outlook and Calendar, which are Outlook 365 specific links. Uh, but uh, whether you're using Office 365 or standalone, you'll have things like Newsfeed and Sites. Uh, you won't have admin as, as that's uh, an Office 365 uh, menu as well. You'll see just to the right of that, uh, it shows you the current logged on user. That's my username there. And if I click on it, I can change my profile or I can sign out. I also have this gear here, which is the settings. Uh, when I click that, I get a drop down menu. Uh, it gives me a number of different uh, actions that I can perform as uh, an administrator or designer of this site. Uh, and that is contextual depending on my permissions. Um, and we'll get into this menu and, and other things you can do uh, later on. You also have a help button here that will take you to Microsoft Help. And just below that in this gray section, uh, you have a couple other buttons. Uh, share is just a quick link to be able to give you permissions. You can uh, use the following function, sync function, which we'll get into later. Uh, you can edit the page here by clicking on this, uh, if you have permissions, of course. And this button here, focus on content, uh, does exactly what it says. Uh, it will focus on the content area, so you will strip out the left-hand navigation. You'll see that left-hand navigation is gone now. And if I click on the Focus on Content button again, I get my left-hand menu back. Uh, on the left-hand side, uh, there's space here for your site logo. The SharePoint logo is just used as default if you don't configure it, but you can change that and customize that yourself. Uh, and then below that, you have a, a link section. So um, you can edit this link section, but currently it has the out-of-the-box uh, functions that, that SharePoint provides when you set uh, a new site up. But if you want to edit the links, you can drag links from uh, other places on the site directly in here, or you can click on this button and create a new link yourself, and these links will be accessible from anywhere within your site. The central area here is the content area. So this is really your design surface, your design area as a team site administrator. Um, you know, this, is, this is the page itself. Uh, and the page here, as you can see, it gives you kind of a, a getting started uh, page when you first create the site. And it gives you links to a few basic uh, functions that you might want to perform. Uh, what you also may notice, this is the Microsoft uh, Metro interface that it's using now. So if you've seen Office 2013, Windows 8, or Windows Phone, uh, these are all kind of metro style buttons that you may be used to seeing. If not, definitely get used to this because you'll see it all over the place uh, for, a, for quite a little while. Uh, so that's just a basic introduction to the interface. Um, what, one additional point actually that I'll add, just under this bar here you'll see uh, I have a couple links here as well, the home and team site. Um, now these links are different to the left hand side links actually. Um, the left hand side is what's called a local navigation. So that's navigation that's relevant to the specific site. And up at the top here is a global navigation. So if you have a number of different sites within your site collection or a group of sites, um, this is a way to, for you to have consistent navigation across a, whole, a bunch of different sites. Uh, you also have obviously the search box here in the top right. Uh, we'll get into search in more detail a bit later but uh, at the basic level that you can just enter whatever you want in here and search search your site for documents and pages or whatever you like. 